uh, are listening to the evening show. Phil Daly with you until 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, we're just coming up to 10 minutes to 9. And delighted to welcome my next be- next guest, uh, Ryan McCaffrey, who first came to our attention here at BBC Radio Norfolk uh, by sending something to our upload site. You can do the same, bbc.co.uk forward slash upload. And uh, I think I'm right in saying, Ryan, you can tell me, because you're the man in the know. You, you, you'd written a song uh, about bullying and sent it in to us, but, but actually you've been a musician for a very long time. Yeah, that's right. Um, I uh, started playing when I was about eight years old. Um, I played piano and then I started uh, clarinet when I was 12 years old. Um, so I've been gigging since I was 14 uh, professionally. Um, I used to play at Park House in Sandringham quite a lot. Um, every two weeks and then I went to off to university um, I w- was in Norfolk before that uh, I went to Birmingham Conservatoire studied jazz for four years and then I I joined a few different bands I joined a band in Norfolk called Siren and I joined another band in London called Function and we performed in a jazz cafe in London and in the uh, Norwegian Extreme Sports Festival in Vos, and we also played at Wayne Hemingway's 25th wedding anniversary down in, I think it was uh, Southampton, this is going back quite a long time now, um, and then I joined a few cruise ships and I went all over the world uh, performing on uh, Disney cruise ships and uh, visited some very nice places like Hawaii, Tahiti and Mexico and um, the US and uh, yeah, I've been doing music all my life. So fantastic! I mean, it, it's it's incredible, isn't it? You, you don't necessarily have to um, be Dua Lipa or <laughs> Lady Gaga or whatever to be to be travelling the world playing your music. And you know, it's great to hear some of the experience you've had. I mean, I'm sure there's some stories you can tell, and, and probably some you can't as well. Uh, yes, yeah, um, yeah. Some some good stories. Uh, so we were in Hawaii and. Um, we went up to the volcano there, um, which is the world's most active volcano, um, and stood upon it and uh, had some photos and stuff. Um, I, when I was in Tahiti, I went scuba diving with sharks, um, which was great. Uh, I didn't get bitten, so that was good. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, other experiences. Uh, I, when I was in um, Canada, I got to see George Benson play live. In um, four hours, we were docked in the same port for in Victoria, and um, he happened to be on during that time, so I got to see him. And then years later, I saw him advertised in Ronnie Scott's for extortionate prices for like two hundred and fifty pound a ticket or something. <laughs> um, so I was I was well chuffed with that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And what about people you've, have you, I mean, have you played for anyone? I mean, I, I guess even on these cruise ships as well, yeah. sometimes you have some, some pretty big names who are just either doing guest speaking or, or maybe just going on holiday themselves. And, and quite often they find themselves drawn to the piano and, and either requesting you to do something or happily standing there and, and maybe singing and, and you, you play with them. Well, there's a good story about this um, Broadway star called Alton White. Uh, Alton Fitzgerald White his name is and uh, he well uh, it was uh, Disney um, employed a pianist Uh, the pianist came on and and was uh, unable to do her training so they quickly got me involved and said uh, okay we've got this big Broadway star coming on 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 the show uh, on the ship and uh, they want me to play for in three days time a whole uh, a whole gig and in another two days time another gig uh, in the in the, the biggest theatre on board so there I was playing to about a thousand people me on the piano and Alton just singing um, and uh, yeah I was, I was pretty nervous but it was a terrific experience um, and then he took me for dinner afterwards uh, within the, the highest uh, restaurant on board which was called Paolo's and uh, had a nice dinner, so it was great. Um, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Some great stories, some great stories. Um, well, I, 
you know, I could listen to stories all night, but we really want to hear you play, actually. Um, we've got about five minutes till we've got to go to some news, so hopefully that's that's long enough to, to hear something. Are you, are you happy to go for it? Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Bear with me. All right, so he's just going to go and get into position, and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll hear exactly what he's got. So this is Ryan McCaffrey, live jazz piano for you. Here we go. Yes, I can hear you. 